We are back with Olivia Munn in the new movie, Violet. She stars as a film producer who realizes she can no longer live with that constant negative thoughts that pop up in her head. And by the way, that thought, those thoughts are voiced by Justin Thoreau, and they're holding her back from living a full life. Take a look. You know, I, I feel weird lately. Don't tell her. Are you sick? No, I just, you know, the committee in my head, you know, just never really noticed it much before. What committee? You know, the voice that tells you that you're a piece of shit, you know, whatever. I mean, everybody has it. You know what I'm talking about. I guess. You sound crazy. I don't know. My parents always told me that I was great. And so whenever I have, like, a bad thought or something, I just, it seems like a lie. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they told me I was great, and I believe them. See, you're a freak. Okay, well, every, every woman watching this, Olivia's nodding her head going, I know that feeling, I know that feeling. I can't wait to talk about the movie, but I'm more excited to talk about the fact that you're about to do something for the very first time. You, my darling, are about to become a mom. How do you feel? Um, I, I, feel I feel good. I feel, uh, I feel scared. <laughs> I feel nervous. Um, and I'm excited. I think I, I feel every day the feelings are just kind of rotating through. I, I, I came home recently to a bunch of boxes and I'm looking at everything that I have to open up. And I, it, it's just, it's, I mean, it's overwhelming when you think I'm like, I, the, I know it's, it, this is a small thing, but I just don't know like how many of each item I need, like how many blankets does a baby need? <laughs> like truly, like I wish somebody could tell me like, or how many onesies, how many diapers, like what am I like? What what what's the best rocker? That's a big question. Oh, apparently you need a really good rocker, and then one that can support your head because a lot of them go down too low. <laughs> and then does it glide or do you want it to rock? These are like these keep me up at night. I don't. I it's really confusing. By the way, it's funny, Olivia. I was just thinking about this moment when I uh, adopted Haley and Hope too. They kind of hand you the baby, and then they they give you some formula, and they're like. Bye bye. And you're literally sitting here thinking, looking at that, thinking like, what do I do next? I laughed because you've been getting advice from your friends, and there was something you said uh, that, that you said one of your friends was really freaky good. She thought it predicting your baby's height. Like, what? Can I you tell me that story. I did not. I never said that she was good. <laughs> she was. <laughs> this is of my friend Jessica. She said, <clears throat> she said, I've got a gift. I can tell you exactly how tall the baby will be. She, do you want to know? And I said, okay. She goes, how tall are you? I said, I'm five, five. She goes, okay. How tall is John? I said, he's six feet. She goes, um, the baby will be six feet. <laughs> I was like, okay, that, that's, um, I don't know how she came up with the math, but I'm excited to see a six foot baby just, you know, <laughs> stretched out, <laughs> stretched out of me. I know yeah. that, I know you're, you're excited. I imagine John's excited. How are you guys feeling about it? We're just really excited. We just kind of, uh, um, we talk about the same stuff, which is like, <laughs> what, which rocker, mm -hmm. what, what kind of crib do you put the baby in? Um, you know, what, what do you put the baby, what, what does the baby wear? Um, that's like, it's, <laughs> the it's I know it sounds, you know, honestly, thank God for Instagram and Facebook and mm -hmm. blogs. Cause there's a lot of moms who put out so much great information yeah. and that has really been such a saving grace for me because I really like, I'm really good with my dog. <laughs> so when I'm like, if, if it's, if it's anything like having dogs, then I'm, I can do that, but I have a feeling it's going to be much different. I think you're going to be great. I just tell you one little piece of advice that Maria Schreier, Schreiber gave me and I never Please. forgot it. I was bouncing my, you know, uh, Haley up in the air and she goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm playing. She said, let me just tell you something. Your baby needs what you need. I said, what's that? She said, to be looked at, to be listened to, to be talked to, to be made to feel secure, the very basics. I think we think they all need all these things, but really they just need the most basic of things. And um, I took that one to the bank. I want to talk about your movie, Violet, because this is something I think all women struggle with. It's like you try to be confident, but there's a loud voice in your head that is just booming. Did you take this role because you thought, like, I get her, I relate to her, I am her? Yeah, when I read the script, I was really taken back by how Justine had written it and how the the voice, as we call it in the film, reflected so much of the voice that I have struggled with my whole life, that constant self-doubt and self-criticism and constant regret of, for things that have happened, you know, even decades ago. So 
when I read that, I just thought to myself, wow, if, if someone can actually execute this um, the way that it feels in my brain and in my soul, that would be such an amazing thing to be a part of. And Justine is such a vision, you know, um, it, like that family, the Bateman family, <laughs> they've got just talent running through them. And uh, it was really such a, a gift to be able to work with her. Yeah, we did have Justine Bateman on the show, and she was, I mean, she loved you for this role. She said she knew it was for you when she when she wrote this. Um, so how do you quiet those kind of voices, Olivia, in your in your real life? And Hoda, that's a hard, hard one. And I think um, there's different times in my life where they cycle through. I think my big the biggest voice I have in my head a lot is like a lot of the regret um, of being able to forgive myself for. Um, sometimes just the silliest mistake or um, just the, just doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. um, and just thinking like, why didn't I know better? Mm -hmm. um, or why wasn't I more mature at this moment? Um, so that that's really hard for me. But I feel like keeping really great positive people mm -hmm. around me has been helpful because sometimes I, I will have friends who have none of those thoughts. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, how are how do you go through life like that? And I'm trying to really learn and listen from them. And, um, mm -hmm. and then also shutting doors, shutting things that, that just make me feel sad and, and things that make me feel depressed. And I think that's been the, the biggest thing is to, to know yeah. what things don't, don't serve me anymore. Well, I've known you for a long time. I remember when you came on our show, when you were just a kid, you were a lot of fun. Yeah. You had a good heart and a beautiful soul. And I can already picture you as a mom, as I'm sitting here. I can't wait for the day that your baby comes. I know you're going to be great at it. Uh, good luck with the movie, Olivia. Come back and see mm. us when you, when you, when you, you know, whenever you can, we're, we're waiting for you. Aww. Okay. That means a lot, Hoda. Thank you so right. much. We should do a play date. Play date one day. Oh, yes. All right. Well, Violet, <laughs> by the way, in select theaters with a wider release on Friday at home and on demand. It starts on November the 9th. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.